Welcome back. In this session, I'm going to show you how to use the line feature of SOLIDWORKS. So, so this is the easiest sketch uh, to use, easiest thing to use uh, in SOLIDWORKS because that's the easiest geometry to use. It's just a line where the other ones are, for example, circle, squares. There's many options that you can use with these, but the line option is the easiest thing you can start out with and to start learning. So, for example, uh, I want to start drawing my line, but before I can do that, I want to make sure that I start my sketch on one of the planes. So there's a front plane, top plane, and right plane. Let's go ahead and click on front plane, and then click on sketch. That will uh, keep my view as normal to my front plane, and it will put it into sketch mode. So right now, we're in editing sketch mode. If you look at the bottom right here, you're in editing sketch mode. And all I want you to do is go over here under line, you're going to see that little drop down box and if you click on it you're going to see that there's a center line and line both are the same you can use the line you're using that to create solids from to create features from the center line you're only going to be using the center line really to create something that's going to be revolving around that line for example so you're not going to really use the center line as a solid line that you're creating a solid from but as something that solidworks is going to use to revolve something else around it or uh, basically, it's, it's exactly what that is. If you're an engineer, if you're a designer, a center line is going to be used for exactly that, just as a center line and nothing more. So most of the time, you will be using the line option. So click on line. Now you're going to get this uh, a dialog box will appear on the left side. Insert line. There's a check mark and an X. The check mark just means you're okay. You're done with the selection. X means cancel. That means you'll cancel it and you will not be uh, picking the line option anymore. Okay, under the message, always read what this asks. Okay, editing the settings of the next new line or sketch a new line. Okay, so that's what's asking you. This is what you're doing really right now. You're editing the sketch, the settings of the next new line. Okay, so the orientation, you're going to have four options. There's as sketched, which we'll be using the entire time in this tutorial. Horizontal, that means you'll only be drawing horizontal lines. Vertical, which means you'll only be drawing vertical lines. And then angle, which means you'll only be drawing angle lines. Okay, under the options over here, for construction and infinite length, we will not be using now those in this tutorial. So make sure as sketch is selected and then click on OK. So click on line again. And let's go ahead and click on this origin. So if you notice, if you uh, go over, over here, you want to make sure that you start almost all your drawings or all your drawings, not almost, in from the origin because that that's what's going to help define your drawing. And I'll show you what that means a little bit later. It's very important to make sure your drawing is fully defined. Okay, that will allow you to easily be able to change the part and uh, change little uh, different sections, uh, make little changes later on in the part. If it's not defined, you might have a lot of issues going back and changing your part or making some changes later on. Okay, so if you notice under here, it says under defined. And I will show you how to uh, draw a make a drawing uh, from exercise number one, starting from exercise number one, and making sure it's fully defined when you're done with your part and not underdefined. You do not want anything underdefined or overdefined. You want it to be, you want it over here to say fully defined. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go over here to my origin. You're gonna see that little dot appear. Left click on it, and you're gonna have the option of snapping that line either 180 degrees. You're gonna notice two things on the right side of the mouth. That's the length, of, the length of the line is going to be the first thing on the right, and then the angle, okay? So the first thing, the, the zero degrees is going to be if you're drawing to the left side, okay? 90 degrees is going to be straight up top, 180 is to the right, and 270 is going to be straight down. I'm sorry, 90 is going to be straight down. So this is going to be basically from zero to 90, both ways up and down, and then to 180 all the way to the other side. Okay, so right now, uh, say I want to draw a 4 inch line, well you don't have to go exactly 4 inches because you can't. So you're going to go to 4.04 for example to 180 and then left click again. And your line is going to get created. Now it gives you options with these yellow dashed lines. What these yellow dashed lines allow you to do is draw another line that's either perpendicular to this line or parallel to that line as well to make sure that you're exactly 90 degrees apart uh, from this line or 180 degrees apart. So this is another way of SOLIDWORKS helping you uh, pick the next line. So say I want this line to be 2 inches down. I'm going to go to 1.99, left click again, and then it's going to give you options to create a, uh, another line. So uh, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to try to make it about 45 degrees, and you'll see it says 1.73 with a 45 degrees next to it. So that means there's a 45 degree angle between this line and this line. 
So let's go ahead and say I want it to be about two inches, 45 degrees from that line and then left click. Okay, now I want to exit sketch. I, I don't want to exit exactly exit the sketch, but I want this line to go away. I'm done sketching. There's two ways you can do this. You can either press escape or right click and then press select over here. So I'm going to do this this way for, for right now, but in the future, uh, you're not going to be doing that. You're always going to be pressing escape. So now you're going to notice a few things right now. After you draw this, you're going to notice that your line is black. And then you're going to know one line is black and then there's two lines that are blue. And another thing you're going to notice is that um, you have these little green squares next to your uh, different uh, sections of the sketch. And what those means is that that means this is your origin. And it, this means that you created a line coincident with your origin point. And that's what that tells you when you go over it. Now, this one means you've created a horizontal line. And this one means you created a vertical line. You can see just a, a little dash right here this way, which means horizontal. A little dash up and down, which means vertical. That's just all it's telling you is that this is a vertical line, it's a horizontal line, and that's it. So that's what those means. You don't, you can, there's an option to turn those off, but we're going to keep those on in our entire section of the beginner's tutorial because they're very helpful and help us understand what we're doing throughout the entire sketch. Okay? Now, the reason this is black is because this is actually a fully defined line because it has an origin. If I left click on this point and try to move it around, I can't. It will not let me move this point around because it's snapped to the origin. It's defined at that origin. But if I go back to this point, you're going to notice there's a point on every corner of a line. If I go to this point, left click on it and move it, you're going to notice that I'm, I'm able to move it back and forth and, and move it around. Okay, so that's, that's one thing you can do over here. Again, you can do this with a line. You don't have to do this with just a point. If I want to take this line and I want to move it back and forth, I can also move this back and forth. Now, it's keeping my 45 degree angle here. That's why you see my line growing and becoming smaller over here because it's keeping that angle that I defined uh, earlier when I was do creating my sketch. So th those are different ways uh, to move the line. So there's going to be another session where I'm going to show you smart dimensioning and how you can change the uh, dimensions on all these. But for now, what you can do is if you click on this line, for example, you're going to get a parameter uh, option appear on the left side. And you can actually change the size of that line from here. So for example, if I, I can either click the up and down button and uh, just change the size we're like this, or I can highlight everything here, type in 4.0, enter, and that will make this line exactly 4.0. Now I'm going to show you how to smart dimension these a little bit later, but for smart dimensioning, I'm, I'm giving it its own section so you would learn it a little bit better. Okay, so there we go. And this is how you create a line in SolidWorks. Uh, next uh, session, we're going to be going over the square and corner rectangle options and more options. There's actually multiple uh, ways to create a rectangle in SolidWorks. So there's, that's how you create a line. And we'll be going over this more and more details of how you can change different sizes and different angles by smart dimensioning later on in this tutorial.